Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a very important visual which is available in Power BI which you can download for free. Now this slicer is called Timeline Slicer. This is like a slider which lets you slide between the years, between the quarters, between months, weeks, also the days. Now this is a very interesting and important visual for every dashboard to have. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first step is I'm going to teach you how you can download this visual in your dashboard. Now you can click on these buttons over here. You can click on get more visuals and you can sign in here and then download. You can type in the search option there. You can type in timeline and download the visual. The second way is you can simply go to the marketplace here. You can go to Google and type in timeline slicer power BI. And then you can click on the first link that is available over here, which will take you to this particular page. And then you can simply click on get it now, fill all the details here, agree to the conditions and click on accept and download. Now, since I have already downloaded this file, I'm going to show you how to import this particular visual. Now, you can click on these dots over here, click on import a visual from a file, click on import and then click on the timeline visual that you've downloaded and click on open. So once you have done that, it will say that your visual has been imported. Now let me get rid of this visual and restart all over to show you how to configure this particular visual. So I'm going to click on this timeline visual over here. You will see that this has now been added. And then I'm going to go to my fields here. Uh, I'm going to pull in my order date. Please make sure that you're pulling in the order date or, or your date column into this particular visual. So once you have this visual, you will see, you will see something like this. Right. And then let's go to the format tab and start formatting this. First thing is I'm going to turn off the background because I don't need a background for this. Then let's go through the features that, is, that are available within this particular visual. Let's start with fiscal year. So basically right now, if you see here, let me click on year. So let's click on 2019 and go to months here. And you can see that it, it is selecting Jan to December when we select 2019 now let's say your fiscal year starts from april to march right and then here you have an option where you can simply select april this which means that we are telling the uh, visual uh, slicer here saying that our fiscal year is starting from april but if your fiscal year is starting from june you can select june for now let me just select april and go back to year here and then select 2020 the entire 2020 and then go to months and see what's happening. It now it is now selecting April to March 2021, right? So you can select your fiscal year as well. And then you can select the day when it is starting. And then first day of the week, whether it is a Sunday or a Monday, you can select that as well. And then you have your range headers. I'm going to change the color here to white so that the color changes over here and it's more readable. And then I'm going to come here to the cell, uh, cells which lets you um, change the color of the cells that are selected and cells that are not selected so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to select this uh, th this gray color here for the cells that are not selected so it's more readable kind of a thing and then you have granularity here granularity is nothing but you can turn them on and off so you can see here you have your year uh, sorry you have your year month quarter selection so let's quickly change the color of this to white so it is readable and then you can now clearly see that you have year, quarter, month, week and days, right? And then you can also turn on, let's say you don't need day visibility or let's say you don't need quarter visibility, you can simply turn them off and then only keep year, month and week. So it's up to you based on your requirement, you can make changes. Okay, and then you have your labels here, uh, if you turn them off, basically what's happening is these labels are getting turned off obviously you don't want to do that you want to keep them so let's change this color to white so it's more readable and then you have your text size as well which you can change and then you have your title uh, you can change this to anything that you want and then you have your font color i will change that to white and then you have your background you have your border shadow etc now this is a very powerful visual which i think you should incorporate into your dashboard and you can select uh, the year the quarter the months the weeks and also the 
days. I hope you find this video interesting. I hope you find this video helpful. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.